Hey, it's Whitney. Today I'm going to share with you some simple tips to help you love your body more. This video is part of a series I've been doing called Healthy Balanced Vegan Body in which I summarize a book and give you all the top tips on how to lose weight, how to get into shape, and how to feel your best through the plant-based diet and lifestyle. This video is brought to you by a very special sponsor called Otter Organics, who makes a fabulous natural organic stretch mark removal oil that I've been using every single day. I can't wait to tell you all about it at the end of this video, but before I get there, I want to talk to you about this book called Love Your Body by Talia Furman. This is how to eat smart, get healthy, find your ideal weight, and feel beautiful inside and out. This book is so inspirational. There's so it's just like absolutely loaded with great information. Talia is the daughter of Joel Furman, who's a very respected MD in the vegan space. So she has packed this book with a lot of its influence, tons of research, and it really covers so much of our overall health, our self-esteem, our body confidence, all of that. It's definitely targeted towards the women, but guys, stick around, you might learn something too. I'm gonna to share with you my favorite parts from this book, a quick summary for this video, but if you want more in-depth notes from this book, I've actually included a special free PDF for you, which you can download by signing up for the newsletter, which is linked to you down below. Talia says that this book is all about maximizing the time that we have on this planet. So it's so much more than a superficial perspective on how to get into shape and love your body. It really encompasses so much about health, about being eco-friendly, about loving yourself inside and out. Talia recommends that you make your weight loss journey about supporting your quest for inner beauty, self-improvement, self-growth, a love for learning, and a healthy attitude towards caring for your body. She says that the first and most important component of true beauty is self-confidence. It's impossible to love your body and think you're beautiful if you don't feel good on the inside. And I can absolutely relate to this, it's so true. Just like choosing the healthiest, most nutritious food to eat, we should choose to feed ourselves with honesty, compassion, and enthusiasm. And by surrounding ourselves with vibrant, enthusiastic, compassionate, intelligent people, which will allow us to maximize these traits in ourselves too. Without a doubt, the only way we can genuinely look and feel our best is to actually like who we are inside and out. Confidence is not an irrational, inflated sense of self. It's actually about being emotionally secure. A compassionate soul is the ultimate fashion statement. I love that. More self-oriented compassion promotes better health, increased happiness, and less depression and anxiety. Appreciating the many glorious aspects of our own lives that we so often take for granted can be a powerful tool to up-level our body loving potential. Take the time to learn about the rest of the world and understand the magnitude of women who face poverty, oppression, and abuse. When we put our efforts into making the world a better place, becoming more compassionate to those less fortunate, and seeking out information like a sponge, we are able to live fuller, more passionate lives, and the value we place on our appearances naturally declines as we begin to realize what is truly important. So now that we've got the confidence and self-esteem covered, let's dive into more of the health-centered tips in this book. Rather than calculating the total body weight or body mass index, Scientists are now finding that waist circumference may be the best indicator of healthy weight. Excess weight circumference has been linked to diabetes, heart disease, inflammation, elevated cholesterol, sleep apnea, and hypertension. Now this is interesting. If you're trying to lose weight, research has shown that a vague sense of how much you weigh is better than knowing the exact number. Not munching on high volume, fiber rich foods will leave you craving more calories, which will make you fat. Nutrients trigger nutrient receptors in our small intestines where the food we eat is absorbed into our bloodstreams and this results in decreased appetite too. So eat 
nutrient dense, fiber rich foods to balance your weight and let your body know when you're full. Now, like her father, Talia really encourages less processed foods and low fat, but she actually says not to think about it as low fat, think about healthy fats. We can safely consume 15 to 40% of calories from fat as long as those fats come from healthy sources like nuts, seeds, or avocados, and we're not eating too many overall calories. If we are consuming whole, natural, plant-based foods with all the undiscovered beneficial nutrients in them, we don't have to worry about consuming too much saturated fat. It's only the animal fats, the processed oils, and the trans fats that we should aim to minimize as much as possible or ideally cut out entirely. Consuming yogurt results in the same consequences as consuming milk, increasing your odds of developing acne, weight gain in your abdominal region, asthma, more respiratory and nasal congestion, mucus secretion, and a higher likelihood of ovarian cancer diagnosis later in your life. Nuts and seeds can actually promote weight loss, believe it or not. Research shows that when an equal number of carbohydrate calories are replaced with nuts and seeds, weight loss increases. And that's because it takes time and effort for your body to store fat from seeds and nuts, and most of that is burned off for energy. However, when you consume things like oil, your body can store the fat with effortless ease in your hips and belly in about 10 minutes. A reduction in inflammation can promote weight loss. Antioxidants have been shown to significantly reduce pain and inflammation, and chronic inflammation blocks the hormones that can keep you lean. A few little magical foods to keep in mind. While white rice has been linked to weight gain, type 2 diabetes, and elevated risk of cardiovascular disease, black, brown, and wild rice are linked to slim waistlines and ideal health. Beans are also quite good for your waistline. The secret behind the magical yet very real fat melting effects of beans is the unique fibers they possess called resistant starch. Resistant starch is the most sublime weight loss tool because it contains very few calories and most of those calories do not raise your glucose levels. When we eat beans, we actually don't absorb all of the calories that are listed in the nutrition facts, so we can actually eat a lot of them and feel very full without over-consuming calories. Research on meal frequency indicates that our bodies are no slimmer or healthier when we eat more often. In fact, as the number of times we eat per day goes up, so does our weight. Talia says that unless we're a bodybuilder or a professional athlete that has a ridiculous amount of calories that they need to consume, we don't need to eat more than three times per day to maintain a healthy weight. There are a few really nice tidbits about working out in here. One is that running or walking for an hour two to three times a week can improve your brain health and mental performance. And walking outdoors amidst lush forests heightens your immune function, reduces your blood pressure, and mitigates anxiety, depression, and anger, while walking along city streets does not have the same effect. So prioritize spending time in nature. A lot of people are concerned with the appearance of their skin, so a few little tidbits about that too. The healthy appearance of our skin is correlated to the hormone levels that circulate in our body. The real solution is to stop eating things that throw your hormones out of whack like dairy, sugar, and processed foods. The rich antioxidant content of brightly colored foods helps our skin repair damage and removes and detoxifies waste products and toxic compounds. Pounds. Researchers deemed that the dietary pattern characterized by high meat and fat intakes increases our skin cancer odds, while a dietary pattern characterized by higher consumption of green vegetables decreases the skin cancer odds. So those are just a few of the wonderful pieces of advice included in this book. I cannot rave about this enough. I've read it twice. It's very motivational, uplifting. It's loaded with information. I'm probably gonna need to read this again to absorb everything that Talia talks about. If you wanna check this out, I've linked to it down below, along with the link where you can sign up to get my free PDF notes if you wanna see more of my favorite takeaways from this book. Thank you so much for watching. I would love to hear from you now. Tell me, how do you love your body on a daily basis? How do you take care of it? How do you grow your self-esteem and feel confident? How do you have more compassion in your life and how does that affect you? Anything that correlates with what I've talked about here today or really whatever you want to talk about, body and 
and health wise, I would love to hear from you. I want to give a huge shout out to my sponsor for this video, Odd Organics, who makes this wonderful natural organic stretch mark removal oil. I've been applying this every single day and I absolutely love it. I love the way it feels, I love the way it smells. I have pretty minimal stretch marks, but I do struggle with cellulite a little bit, as many of us do, and so this is really just helping increase the circulation in my body because every day I massage this into my skin, into my trouble areas, and I do this for about five minutes at least twice a day. They do recommend three times a day if you really have like noticeable stretch marks or strong cellulite. I use this brush, so I apply it onto my hands rub it into my skin and absorbs very very quickly so I start brushing right away and I'll just do something like I'll watch TV or something or or I'll listen to a podcast while I'm rubbing it in and I rub it all over my legs my butt my stomach wherever I'm feeling a little bit insecure about my skin appearance and it's just become part of my nighttime ritual now the way this works is it can actually repair all sorts of damage it can repair the damage from stretch marks from cellulite sun damage Damage. It can actually help with acne and scars. This can help with uneven skin and this is great for all skin types, dry skin, oily skin. It absorbs right in so you don't have to worry about too much oil being there. It's made with all herbal ingredients like essential oils and wonderful oils in here, plus go to cola which can help regenerate your skin cells. I thought this was a perfect product to include in this video because stretch marks are often associated with weight loss or weight gain, especially the former. Sometimes when we lose an excess amount of weight we're gonna have those stretch marks left over which is so frustrating stretch marks are also related to things like pregnancy they can be genetic hormonal there's so many factors and it's so nice to know that there's a natural formula for them and if you're unsure about this go check out some of the before and after photos on the Amazon page by customers it's pretty amazing. It's made in recycled glass bottles and made in small batches. So you get to support a really wonderful small company. They're so nice. I've linked to them down below if you wanna check them out. They actually have a money back guarantee, so there's virtually no risk to this. And they gave me a special coupon code to share with you so you can get 20% off when you purchase it. You just have to go through the Amazon checkout page and you'll see a, a little box to use that towards the end. And that does it for this video. Thank you again for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And if this is your first time watching my channel, welcome. Please subscribe so you're the first to know when I have more content like this. I have a new video about once a week, sometimes twice a week right now. Plus, I have 17 other videos in this Healthy Balanced Vegan Body series, so go check those out. If you would like to keep in touch with me in between videos, I'm on social media under the username EcoVeganGal, on Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram, pretty much everywhere. I've also linked to my different accounts in the description to make it super easy to connect with me. All right, that does it. I'll see you next time. Bye.